Howdy folks and welcome to this episode of the Weekend Angler. Today we have another DIY project. We're going to be constructing a set of overhead rod holders to get your fishing equipment up and out of the way in your garage. I just recently built a set and was able to store approximately 14 or 15 rods up out of the way. They don't take up any floor space and they're safely and securely stored. What I have left is about a three foot section of the boards I used. We're going to make another short section of rod holder in this video. You can easily expand this to whatever size you need to fit whatever amount of equipment that you have. As you can see, I've posted a list of materials needed for today's project. It's nothing too fancy. Everything can be picked up at your local hardware store. The, for the main components, it's going to be a 1x4 piece of pine, 1x2 piece of pine, and I used the Sioux Chief brand one and a quarter inch PVC J hook hangers. I'll show those later on in the video, but that's going to make up what actually holds your rods. Other hardware that's going to be needed is some pan head cabinet screws, number six by inch and a quarter. You're going to need some premium wood glue, wood glue. You're going to need a couple of clamps. You're going to need a drill driver, cordless drill, something like that to get this secured. So, Let's bump on back to the camera and we'll get started on this project. Alright folks, getting started here. What you need to do now, you need to get your piece of 1x4 pine and your piece of 1x2 pine. Your PVC hangers that are going to become your rod holders are going to mount to this piece of 1x4. And this 1x2 is what you'll eventually screw through into the attic rafters to mount your rod holders to your garage ceiling. Now, in order to get a good solid set we're going to glue and then screw this piece of 1x2 to this 1x4. So what you need to do at this point, get your wood glue. And we're just going to run a thin bead all the way down the length of this 1x2. We're going to flip that over and mount that flush with the end of this 1x4. Take one of your clamps, these are just Harbor Freight Specials, flush that up. Get that clamped into place. Rotate that over. We'll get the other one close and get it put into place. Now, as you're screwing this, you're going to have to kind of flex this one by two to try to keep everything flushed up. So at this time, I'm going to use the number six by inch and a quarter pan head cabinet screws. Now these are number two square drive. And I'm going to put a few screws into this thing just to help it hold while the glue is drying. Now that those are on, we'll set this piece aside. Take the clamps off of it. will allow this part to dry. Now, as you can see, you've now got an L-shaped piece of pine here. Once that glue's dry, we'll get that primed and painted. Then the last step, we'll secure our PVC hangers to it and get it put on the ceiling. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this other piece done, and I'll be back whenever we're ready to prime and paint these two pieces. Okay folks, now that the uh, glue has had time to set up, it's time to get the primer put on. We're not using anything fancy here. This is a, let's see, there we go, 
Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover Primer. Had this left over from a project earlier I did. And we're going to get a coat of primer on these boards and we'll get the coat of paint on put after. Okay, now that the primer's put on, we'll wait for that to dry a little bit. I'll flip them over, get the other side. We're going to do the same process with the paint. So I'll get that finished up, and we'll get back to these once they're painted and ready to go. We'll put the finishing touches on them. Okay, once the paint is dried, it's time to get your layout set up for your rod holders. And what I've found is going one inch from each end of the board having one inch of spacing between the two hangers and six and a half inches of spacing between sets of hangers works out just fine. It accommodates larger reels. Your equipment won't be bumping against each other. If you want to lay your rods you know, opposite of each other, one one way, one the other, you could probably decrease your spacing and get a whole lot more rod holders in on your length of board but I like all mine going the same direction so that's the uh, spacing that I've laid out uh, to do so just get you a square get your tape measure get your pencil get all that marked out I've already marked these out and so the final step before we get these installed on the ceiling will be to install the PVC J hooks now these come with ring shank nails. I've opted not to use those and instead we'll be using number six by inch and a quarter fine thread drywall screws. Just makes it a little bit easier to get them all installed. So let's start getting these put on and uh, then we'll see the finished product. As you can see, we've got the rod holders completed, and this was a three-foot section of one by four, and uh, it was able to hold nine rods. Uh, depending on how long of a pine board you use, that will determine how many rods you can hold on your rod holder. All that's left for these is to get them uh, attached to the ceiling, and to do so, you just take and uh, mark your location or your rafters and uh, what I did was pre-drill the holes and use number nine by uh, three inch construction screws to attach those to the ceiling. And I uh, put the finished picture up. I'm not going to get these mounted today, but I've already got a set, a five foot set mounted on the ceiling. We'll get those pictures put up and, uh, you know, hopefully I've helped you out here and get you something, uh, keep your rod and reels up safe and out of the way so they're not getting damaged. All right, folks, that just about wraps this project up. Only thing left is get these put on the ceiling, but uh, each application going to be different for whoever builds them. So hopefully I've helped you out, given you some ideas on uh, how to keep your rod and reel safe and secure. And these have worked out real good for me. I built the first set, uh, oh, about a month ago, and I had a lot of friends that have taken a look at it, and now they want a set too. So... It's a real cheap project. It's a real easy project. You can do it on a day like today where we've got a ice storm going on here in southern Illinois and that kind of keep you inside. So it's cold and wet outside. It's warm and dry inside and you get this stuff done. Thanks for watching this video and take care and we'll see y'all real soon.